Kids, welcome back to the world of Mystic Drums. I'm Lauren, here, joined with Jerry and friend Dolphina, AKA Slappy. How are ya? Good. Amazing. Fantantibulous. Well, that's excellent. And how's our friend Dolphina? I mean, Slappy, sorry. Yes, you love this instrument too? What do you mean you like to slap it? Hey, psh, 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 psh. hey, no slapping the instrument. We talked about this, no slapping. Now, sit nice and close to your friend and let's start our amazing instrument presentation. Psh, psh. Hey. Not so, not so close. Whoa! Jerry, watch out! Hey! Okay, okay, separate, separate, separate. We begin. Understanding the xylophone, you must first understand how to hit the xylophone properly. We've got to use fuzzy mallets. You can see, stick with the ball in the end, that's a mallet. Different types, there's hard mallets, soft mallets, plastic mallets, wood mallets. These are soft mallets with yarn, cord, making different sounds. Yarn, nice and soft. Look, just rock you out to sleep. The cord is a little bit of a harder sound. Different materials produce different vibrations. When I play, I can play one, two, three, or even four mallets at the same time. Depending on the song, I choose. Two mallets is the most easiest way to perform. When I play a song, I usually put two in one hand and the hard lead in the right hand. And you can make up any song you like. When we play a xylophone, we realize that all these different notes can come off and be interchanged to create different scales. It's carved out at the bottom. That notching out creates the different pitches and it's a nice warm style of wood. This is rosewood. We've got a lot more xylophones to see. So come back, subscribe, and like below. Kabam, kazooie, kapow pow, boom!